Let's look at example number 5 now. Here is our input file. The strings with the green check mark on the left are the strings that I want to select. The strings with the red cross mark on the left are the strings that I want to exclude. Let's look out for patterns which make the green ones differ from the red ones. Something that is very obvious is that all words end in OO. So they are all OOs, Fu, Ku and Lu. Other than this, what do they have in common that makes them differ from the red ones? The red ones also are OOs. They are Mu, Du, Pu, Bu and Hu. Pattern-wise, there is nothing else that makes them differ. Let's move to the next step. We'll find a way to make them differ. We have a single imaginary dotted line vertical separator, which divides each string into two different sections. On the left of the separator, we have a single letter. F for the first string, C for the second, L for the third. On the right of the separator, we have OO, which is common to all strings. Let's look at a new regex symbol, or rather a new regex class. It's called the character class, and it is represented by square brackets with something in between. So if we write A, B, C inside the character class, what it represents is one of the letters A, B or C. Please note that it represents only one character position. To fill that single character position, we have three choices A, B or C. It's not a wild card. You just can't put anything in there. It has to be one of the three choices A, B or C. So this is called a character class. Let's apply this character class to our current example. The variable characters that are used in our green strings are F, C and L. Let's move to our final step. So, to the left of the vertical separator, we have created a character class with the letters F, C and L inside square brackets. Please note that the letters don't have any spaces or commas in between them. They are simply written one after the other. Then we have the fixed letters O, O. So the final regex string would be character class of FCL followed by two O's. Now if you notice the strings which have the red cross mark by their side, they begin with the letters M, D, P, B and H. So by restricting the character class, to the letters F, C and L, we are, in effect, excluding all the other letters in the red marked strings. So by bringing in this character class, we have created a differentiator between the green and red marked strings. So our final regex pattern for example number 5 is ready. Let's try it out using a regex engine. Let's bring up our Linux terminal. First, let's see our input file. So cat input file name. There it is. Now grep the regex pattern in single quotes. And then the input file name. There you go. Compare this list with what you saw in the graphic for this example. 
only the green ones should have got matched. So that's it for this session. Let's move on to the next one. Let's look at example number six now. Here's our input file. The strings with the green check mark on the left are the strings that I want to select. The strings with the red cross mark on the left are the strings that I want to exclude. Let's look out for patterns which make the green ones differ from the red ones. You will notice that all the words end in OO, so they are all OOs. Most of them are the green ones. Fu, Ku, Du, Pu, Lu, Bu. There are six green ones. The two red ones also are OOs. They are Mu and Hu. Pattern-wise, there is nothing else that makes them differ. Let's move to the next step. We have a single imaginary dotted line vertical separator which divides each string into two different sections. On the left of the separator, we have a single letter, F for the first string, C for the second, then D, P, L and B. On the right of the separator, we have O, O, which is common to all strings. We are not going to introduce a new regex symbol for this example. We are going to use the same character class regex feature that we used for the previous example. Example number 5. The character class is represented by square brackets with something in between. So if we write A, B, C inside the character class, what it represents is one of the letters A, B or C. Please note that it represents only one character position. To fill that single character position, we have three choices A, B or C. It's not a wild card. You just can't put anything in there. It has to be one of the three choices A, B or C. Let's apply this character class to our current example too. The variable characters that are used in our green strings are F, C, D, P, L and B. Let's move to our final step. So to the left of the vertical separator, we have created a character class with the letters F, C, D, P, L, B inside square brackets. Please note that the letters don't have any spaces or commas in between. They are simply written one after the other. Then we have the fixed letters O, O. So the final regex string would be the character class of F, C, D, P, L, B followed by two O's. Now if you notice the strings which have the red cross mark by their side, they begin with the letters M and H. So by restricting to the letter choices in the character class, we are in effect excluding all the other letters in the red marked strings. You would have noticed by now that this example is quite similar to the previous one. But you would have started seeing a problem now. If there are too many entries inside a character class, it starts to get unmanageable. In the current example, we had six. Is there a better regex pattern that we can come up with that is not as lengthy? This is what we'll try out in our next example. We'll try to rewrite the regex in a different way in the next example. So let's implement our current regex pattern for example number 6 using a regex engine. Let's bring up our Linux terminal. First, 
let's see our input file so cat input file name there it is now grep the regex pattern in single quotes and then the input file name there you go compare this list with what you saw in the graphic for this example only the green ones should have got matched let's move on to the next one let's look at example number seven now here's our input file the input file is exactly same as the input file we used for example number six the strings with the green check mark on the left are the strings that I want to select the strings with the red cross mark on the left are the strings that I want to exclude let's look out for patterns which make the green ones differ from the red ones you'll notice that all the words end in OO so they are all oos we have more of green ones foo go do poo loo boo there are six green ones the two red ones also are oos they are moo and who pattern wise there is nothing else that makes them differ let's move to the next step if you take a look at the miniature process flow at the top and if you read the description for step 2 it reads identify patterns in the inclusions list or the exclusions list for all examples until now we have been trying to identify patterns in the inclusion list sometimes it might be easier to represent the exclusion list using a pattern and simply negate it so let's take the two strings with the red cross and write them in a list we have a single imaginary dotted line vertical separator which divides each string into two different sections on the left of the separator we have a single letter m for the first string and h for the second string on the right of the separator we have oo which is common to both strings we are not going to introduce a new regex symbol for this example we are going to use the character class regex feature again here but with a twist the first letter inside our character class is going to be a special one the caret symbol sometimes it's called the exponent operator the caret symbol negates the class so if we write caret abc inside the character class what it represents is any letter other than a b or c please note that it represents only one character position to fill that single character position we can use any letter but that letter cannot be a b or c let's apply this character class to our current example too let's move to our final step so to the left of the vertical separator we have created a character class which starts with the negation symbol caret followed by the letters m and h inside square brackets please note that the caret symbol as well as the letters don't have any spaces or commas in between them they are simply written one after the other then we have the fixed letters oo to the right of the imaginary vertical line so the final regex string would be the character class of caret mh followed by two o's so by using this regex pattern we have used the exclusion list represented it with a pattern 
and then negated it. In the previous example, we started with the same input file, but we tried to come up with a regex pattern to represent the inclusion list. But we saw it slowly spinning out of control as we had to accommodate around six letters inside the character class. It was getting too verbose. By using this new method, we are making the regular expression more compact and efficient. This also leads us to another important point with respect to regular expressions. There can be more than one solution to a problem. The same problem statement could be solved by two or more different regular expressions. So in this example or any of the subsequent examples, I might show you one regular expression as the solution. But if you think you can come up with a better one that solves the problem, please feel free to go ahead and use it. You can always use a regex engine to test out your new solution if you are in doubt. So let's implement our current regex pattern for example number 7 using a regex engine. Let's bring up our Linux terminal. First, let's see our input file. So cat input file name. There it is. Now grep the regex pattern in single quotes and then the input file name. There you go. Compare this list with what you saw in the graphic for this example. Only the green ones should have got matched. Let's move on to the next one.